Hello everyone. Welcome to Advanced Real World Hacking with Practical Videos course. I'm your course instructor Snehal and the topic for this lecture is Compromising User Machine Using Word and Excel Files. This course will help you understand how hackers hack into users machine via Word and Excel files leveraging macro feature of Microsoft Office and how dangerous it can be to open such files from untrusted source. Now let's jump to the demonstration part. Go to the Kali Linux machine and open the terminal. We will make use of Metasploit tool to generate the malicious macro which will give hacker shell access of victim's machine once the victim opens the macro enable document. Let's generate the file required for generating the macro. We'll make use of MSF Venom, time in MSF Venom with the option P. P is used for supplying the payload. The payload which we'll be using is Windows Metapeta Reverse TCP. You're free to use any payload within the framework. You can also make use of Windows Metapeta Reverse HTTP or HTTPS. For the sake of demonstration, I'll be making use of Windows Metapeta Reverse TCP payload. Need to provide a couple of more options. L host. L host is the IP address where you want to receive the connection from the victim's machine. So we want to receive the connection on this machine. So let's provide the IP address of this machine or the attacking machine. Quickly check the IP address of this machine. It's 2.12. Patch on the IP address. In case you want to target users which are not in the same network, you can provide the public IP address. L port. L port is the port which you will be listening on which you will be listening for the connection on the Kali Linux machine. You can specify any port here. Let's specify 4444. Again, in case where you want to target users which are not in the same network or they are somewhere on the internet, you would like to make use of public IP address here in place of L host and you should do the port forwarding for the port specified here in your router when you're making use of public IP address for targeting users which are not in the same network. Since for the demonstration purpose I'll be targeting a user which will be opening a document in the same network, I am using the private IP address. Let's provide a couple of more options here. We'll use the encoding and we'll use the encoder shikata. We need to choose the file format. What we want to generate, we'll make use of BBAPSH. This is a partial supported macro which is very stealthy and often leads to antivirus bypass in most of the scenarios, even the commercial ones. Now we will generate the payload and embed it into a text file for the sake of simplicity and hit enter. It will generate the payload in the current directory. Now let's see if we have the payload ready. There we are. Macro.txt file is available in the current directory. Let's take a look at the content of the macro.txt file. This is the payload content. And it needs to be a part of the macro that will be embedded in the Word or Excel document. Now let's see how to create the Word document which will have this payload embedded in the macro file.
in the background I have this Windows machine open the word we'll go to the view tab go to the macros view macros now this is some of the cache of my work I'll delete it and I'll show you fresh all right so let's go to view again go to macro view macros now here as you can see nothing can be found here now I can provide a new macro name it can be anything create delete the junk from here already have the payload which the macro.txt payload which we have recently generated using metasploit so we'll copy the content from here and we will paste it in the macro file close this close this save it on the computer on the desktop make sure you're saving it as a macro enabled document the file name is doc1 save it close now half of the work is done now in order to receive connection from victim machine once they are compromised we need to start the multi handler for receiving the connection let's see how to do it type in msf console and it will load up the metasploit framework Type in use exploit multi handler. Now we will set the payload, and the payload should be same which we had used while generating the macro.txt file. And the payload we had used that time was Windows Metapeter Reverse TCP. In case where you're using Windows Metapeter Reverse HTTP while generating that payload, you should use Windows Metapeter Reverse HTTP. L host should be the same. Again, where you where you are using public IP address, you need to patch in the public IP address, and you need to perform the port forwarding in a router for the specified port. L port should be the same, which we had used while generating the macro content. Now type in exploit. A lot of mistakes. Yes, and we have the handler ready on the IP address and port specified by us. At this point, the attacker is ready and he will send the document, the macro enabled document to the victim. The moment victim opens the document, he will have shell access of the victim machine. Now let's see how it happens on victim's machine. Doc1 is the doc in which we have embedded the macro on the payload. Now, if the victim opens it, let's see what happens. There we go. 
we have the very rewarding metapotential access of the victim's machine. We have successfully compromised victim machine and we can perform variety of operations from here. Similarly, you can use the payload content that you had generated using Metasploit to em embed that into the macro in the Excel files. It should not be very different. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and will use this information carefully and wisely. This video is for education and research purpose only. Thank you for taking the course.